This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for beginners and will cover elements 7.7 .7 and 7.10 of the European Computer Driving Licence. The lesson is titled Logging On and Filling Out Forms. Now once you've been using your computer a while you'll come across websites that you want to join and register with. Each website that you need to register with will have slightly different criteria for signing up. We'll just run through a couple of standard sign-ups. Now I have here the sign-up page for Facebook which is a well-known social networking site. Now ignore the top at the moment because that's the login part. The sign-up bit, what sort of information they're after is they want your first name, your last name, your email address and then you need to re-enter your email address to make sure there's no mistakes a password now there's no actual rules about passwords passwords are a personal thing but they should be secure so we would recommend a password which is a minimum of eight characters and includes letters and numbers so we would recommend finding a name and a number. Now don't use the name of your cat or the name of your son or daughter. Use a name that's going to be unique to you that you can remember and a number that you can remember. Now after your password once you've thought of that you need to put in your gender male or female and then your date of birth. So you might think why do I need to provide my date of birth? Well, there's a hyperlink here that Facebook has provided and you can click here for more information. A box appears. Facebook requires all users to provide their real date of birth to encourage authenticity and provide only age-appropriate access to content. It goes on to say a little bit more, but that's the reason you need to put your date of birth in there. Once you've filled out the form, you click on the sign up at the bottom and then when you need to log into Facebook you use the login at the top with your email address and the password you've created. If you forget your password click on the hyperlink underneath and Facebook will email you either your password or a new password. So that's Facebook. Now I've got a login page here for opening account with the National Lottery. Now the National Lottery is essentially a financial website so it needs to be a little bit more robust. So if we scroll down and take a look at the information they require, it's about opening account and there's four sections to it. The about you, address details, terms and conditions and then your sign in. And If we read through the top about personal details the bottom line says required fields are marked with an asterisk so you need to put in your title Mr. Miss Ms. whatever your first name your last name your date of birth users of the National Lottery need to be at least 16 years of age your gender male or female your email address and then you need to re-enter your email address to make sure that there's no errors and then the National Lottery are asking for your telephone number but if you look next to your telephone number there's no asterisk needed so you don't need to leave that when you've completed that part of the form you click on the continue button and move on to the next part which will be about your address and at the very end you'll need to create a different password from one, the one that you're already using on Facebook or other sites because this is a financial one this needs to be a little bit more robust so you need to dream up another password again so that's filling out forms and logging in thanks very much